Just kidding. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I just wanted to say before today's episode, thank you so much for all the support and the views and the subscribes. Uh, it really means a lot to me. As many of you know, I do this on the side. Uh, it's just a hobby. This channel's not monetized in any way. Um, but it takes a lot of work, and so I really, really appreciate you watching. I genuinely mean this when I say, I'm glad you're here. You may wonder, why am I in a closet? Well, this is actually where I record the voiceovers for the episodes. Now, I know my voiceovers aren't great. I'm working on getting a better mic. But in the meantime, this is the place in my apartment with the least amount of echo. But anyway, uh, while the subject of today's episode is YouTube Kids, uh, it should go without saying if you know anything about this channel that this video is not for kids. I also wanted to say in addition to that, uh, this episode contains footage from various YouTube Kids channels. A lot of it has been filtered and cropped because these channels are so heavy with copyright strikes. All the footage is used under fair use, uh, but still, I really don't want this video to get torpedoed in a week. So if you really want to see the original footage, there'll be links below, and even without them, trust me, it's not hard to find. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and on with the episode. We've talked about some dark things on this channel. Murderous cults, mysterious websites, lethal assassins, but nothing compares to this. Brace yourself. Yes, folks, it is that time. We have to talk about Johnny. For those unaware, this video catapulted into the meme world for how odd and unintentionally hilarious it was. It has spawned dozens of tweets, posts, and even remixes. But this bizarre video is part of a much larger problem, namely that YouTube's algorithms are being manipulated to show your children garbage. Garbage, and sometimes something much more sinister. Welcome to Nothing is Revealed. So let's get this out of the way first. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa is hilariously weird. It was belched into the world by animators in India or Southeast Asia. The song is asinine and bizarre to Westerners. The animation resembles the earliest CGI of the 90s. The proportions and designs are all wrong, and there's just something unsettling about it. Don't buzz away, the buzz on Maggie will be right back. It's Mike's Super Short Show, where we... I mean, we're used to highly produced, highly controlled children's content from the likes of Disney and DreamWorks. The lack of quality here just feels wrong. Like we let someone random, unknown, and unskilled into our homes to entertain our kids. But the whole internet loved it. From the edgy and alternative fringes to the more mainstream hubs of Facebook and Twitter. The song is catchy in all the wrong ways, and my god, is it hysterical. Believe it or not, there are dozens and dozens more where that came from. I can't believe I'm saying this, but YouTube Kids is one of the weirdest places on the internet. Johnny, Papa, and even their refrigerator have a lot of crappy songs to sing, always about the kids deceiving their parents. And these are mostly ripoffs of other Indian kids' channels who ripped it from somewhere else. Here's the first incarnation of this song itself. Open your mouth, ha ha ha. 
and oh my god, all of these channels are killing it. Seriously, Choo Choo TV, one of these channels that ripped off the original, has videos with over 1.5 billion, yes, billion views. YouTube's algorithm is more likely to recommend extremely similar content to what you and your kids are watching. And so, to game that system, these channels churn out hundreds of nearly identical videos. Oh yes, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube with terrible animation and this song in them. Those responsible for this garbage tailor their videos to take advantage of whatever content or topics are trending, so a freaky kids channel about zoo animals might have a random Johnny Johnny video in the bunch. And it really is garbage. I'm serious. Just take a look at this from the channel I just pictured. That's not to say it's all sinister and greed-driven. A profile run in Quartz India on the Choo Choo TV founder chronicles how a software engineer became a father and began turning the lullabies he sang his daughter into animated videos that went viral. His first nursery rhyme video, Chubby Cheek, launched in 2013 and attracted 300,000 views. Viral, right? According to the profile, that original channel is the second most viewed on YouTube for all of India. Globally, the channel ranked 21st in 2017. That's 21st in the world. A success story is all well and good, but I still find these extremely creepy and low quality, and I don't think your young ones developing minds should be watching them. But still, there are much, much worse videos out there lurking, masquerading as children's content, showing up on your family iPads, weird fetishes, alarmingly sexual or violent, and worst of all, YouTube can't stop it. Or won't stop it. The bulk of these findings trace back to the reporting of James Bridle. His original article can be found in the description, and it is chilling stuff. So please, click over there and thank your lucky stars that someone is looking out for our children. Because YouTube, the company making bank off this mess, is not. I think Bridal put it best. Someone or something or some combination of people and things is using YouTube to systematically frighten, traumatize, and abuse children, automatically and at scale. And it forces me to question my own beliefs about the internet at every level. Bridal points out that of Finger Family videos, another nursery rhyme ripoff sensation as of late, there are at least 17 million versions currently on YouTube. Which brings up the next point. There is some serious software automation going on here. There are computer programs and bots making these videos, populating these channels, and then ratcheting up the watch count and even commenting on the videos. It's a complex system of code and software meant to cheat the system for views and ad money. But as Bridal points out, there are also many actual children plugged into iPhones and tablets watching these videos over and over again. Then there are more sinister videos. There are Peppa Pig knockoffs that include your child's favorite character being tortured by a dentist, drinking bleach, or eating her own father. The scariest part is, YouTube unleashed a massive purge of these videos in late 2017. But that's like stomping on an anthill. You're only going to kill a few. Seriously, though the original video in Bridal's article is gone, I searched YouTube for all of 30 seconds and found a weird cut of the exact dentist Peppa Pig knockoff. 
It features said dentist moment twice, as well as a bizarre fight sequence between two pigs dressed up as Ant-Man and Superman. Gotta pad that length out. We are trying to get that YouTube money. Here's the description of it. Note how many times four kids appears in there, and that the icon for the channel is a stock image of a baby. Small children don't exactly have the skepticism to think much past that. The scariest part about this is the volume. YouTube is just one guy stomping his feet in an ocean of anthills. Like Bridal says, it may not be the intention of all these video makers to traumatize or hurt kids, but they're doing it anyway. There have been huge write-ups on this problem, like in the New York Times, but these frame the issue as a few videos slipping past the censors, when it clearly isn't. If you take anything from this video, it's that the platform cannot be trusted at all. Do not listen to YouTube's lies, and to the New York Times, shame on you. That article may be the only place thousands of people hear this story, and it shouldn't have underplayed the issue. Here are just a few examples of these sinister and odd videos. Notice the garbled titles. These are either a result of software generating them, or are meant to exploit the recommendation algorithms, or both. To YouTube's credit, the YouTube Kids app is pretty locked down, as long as you don't enable searching. Even with searching, I found plenty of weird stuff, but most of it relatively innocent in intent. But the regular old YouTube? Forget about it. It's teeming with this stuff. YouTube is not like your television. You can't trust it to show your kids the right stuff, no matter what they say. There will be many links below on the reporting. In a way, I think this is the scariest thing we've ever investigated on Nothing Is Revealed. Because this isn't some boogeyman. This is real. This is systematic. And if you have small kids with unfettered internet access, it's likely been in your home. It's strange. It's hard to comprehend. It's a targeted attack at our most vulnerable, our sweetest, and our most innocent. Our developing minds. Our future. In the late 50s and early 60s, an estimated 10,000 children were born worldwide with birth defects caused by the pregnant mothers using the drug thalidomide. A large portion died. It's viewed as one of the most tragic losses of life in history, and it is. But mental health is important too, and this abusive content is reaching millions of unknowing children. Where is the outcry? Protect your children. Keep them safe. At all costs. And... Thanks for watching.